AITA for yelling at my husband after we got back from my seven months nephew's funeral? I'm sorry for any mistakes. I'm just so mad right now. My 26F nephew passed away from Sid on Monday. It was sudden. It was devastating and I had to get my husband. 33M back from his work to go see my sister who was with my family. It was a four hours drive so we got there around noon. I stayed with my sister and helped around the house while my family were calling to let other family members know about what happened. My sister has a six-year-old son. I helped take care of him most of the time for my sister and brother-in-law. It's been very difficult. My sister wanted to have a burial two days after her baby passed away. At first, my husband told me he didn't want to go and wanted to watch the kids at my parents' home. And when I told him that his family will be there and ask about him, he said that he already told his mom that having a funeral wasn't necessary and doubted that she'd even come. I told him he could at least show support for my sister and her husband. He eventually went with me and stayed with my dad the whole time. I kept watching him and saw that he was on his phone the entire time and it was obvious my dad was feeling uncomfortable by this. After the funeral, he started going around asking the guests for a charger. I told him to stop but he was being inappropriate and told me to ask my sister if she wanted to give us some stuff that belonged to my nephew for our baby. He said this in front of my mom and I didn't know what to say. He even asked my brother-in-law and my dad how much they paid and was surprised by their response, telling them that he thought it was unnecessary. We returned yesterday, and in the evening my dad sent me a message saying that my husband was being inappropriate and they didn't appreciate his behavior in front of the guests and the family, said that he was embarrassing them with his questions and that he should apologize to my brother-in-law and my sister. My husband saw the text and lost it. He called my parents ungrateful and awful. I told him they were right about what they said, and he said that I should have told them that he's done them a huge favor by attending in the first place instead of siding with them, and just went on about how awful my sister and her husband are and that they should put their remaining son up for adoption because they failed at being parents and that God saved my nephew from them. I yelled at him for what he said in his massive disrespect for my family. We argued for some time before he called his mom to, to complain to her about it. He's now saying that I'm in the wrong for siding with him and that I should call them after what? They said about him. Edit. Grammar. NTA but I think you know this goes farther than just being insensitive. Your family was grieving the loss of a small child and he had the gall to harass people for a fucking phone charger because he couldn't even pretend to give a shit about anyone there but himself. His behavior was frankly appalling and the fact that he doesn't understand that worrisome. I just hope he is able to grow some compassion by the time you have your baby. NTA your husband is a monster. Why are you with him? NTA, your husband sounds like a massive douche. Well now you know who you're really married to and get to decide if you want to continue building a life and family with someone so cold and heartless as to have said God saved your nephew from your sister and BIL's care. FYI it's easier if you end things before you have your baby. NTA well, so NTA, I am shocked by your husband's behavior. NTA, he was incredibly out of line. I'm sorry that you have to deal with him. They just lost their child and he had the nerve to say that? You really need to ask yourself is this the kind of person you want being a parent to your child? Since you mentioned in a reply you're pregnant, ask him if that happened to your baby and how would he feel as someone told him that? NTA your husband went out of his way to be disrespectful and show his disdain for the mourners. His behavior and particularly his later comments are unforgivable. 
I can't even begin to understand his hate-filled reaction but it's something that you need to address with him. Op info what else does your husband do and what other bad behavior has he exhibited over the years? Because I have a feeling that this behavior is the tip of a very large iceberg. On top of everything else, the fact that he called his mother for support is a big sign of immaturity. He ought to be able to work out problems with you as a couple, and not go lining up allies. It sounds like his mother didn't criticize him about his terrible behavior either. So that may be an indicator of where his attitudes are coming from. P.S. I'm so sorry about your nephew. Wow I would file for divorce immediately. Info, do you have kids? Well, NTA, I'm so sorry for your loss. NTA, WTAF is wrong with him? He seems immature, selfish and callous. If this was me, his ass would be on the curb. NTA, your husband is a huge asshole. Being supportive of someone else's grief is not a favor. It's basic human decency. If this was a funeral for a seven-week pregnancy that miscarried I'd still call him and ask for being so rude and unsupportive in the presence of grieving family. But he begrudges holding a funeral for a fully born seven-month-old infant. I would be more disturbed if the family did not hold a funeral for their child. Is this callous disregard of his a new development for him? Or is there some troubled history between your family and your husband? Well, that is beyond disgusting. NTA. NTA. He is being terrible on so many levels. Is this totally new behavior for him or has been like this for a while and this situation finally made it impossible to ignore? NTA. I'm so sorry for your loss. But you should reconsider this relationship. If you, God forbid, should ever lose a child he clearly won't want you mourning said child or even having a funeral. Uh, NTA. WTF. Your husband sounds awful? I honestly would give a lot of thought as to whether I'd stay with him or not. That's disgusting behavior. And I'm sorry for your loss. That God saved my nephew from them. So. Your husband literally said this baby's death was a good thing? And he started asking your sister and Bill for his things for your own baby? Are you kidding me here? You husband is a horrible, vile, callous person. It's one thing to have no empathy. It's another to be deliberately cruel to them in this time of grief. I'm not clear if you have children with him yet or not but I hope for your and your children, sake. You don't. This is not just a poor reaction. This is awful. You're NTA and I think you should really reconsider your relationship. Why WBTA if you stay with him? There is something missing inside of him and he will destroy your relationship with your family. Completely. Which sounds like his goal. Please take your head out of the sand and run. No decent human being would behave like this and a road shared with him is guaranteed to be awful. For you and your child. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.